Question three, reflect the triangle below in the x-axis. It clearly indicates there you can see x. So that's the x-axis, that line going across, okay? So what are we doing? When you're reflecting, it's like looking in a mirror. It's the mirror image, all right? So when you're looking at the mirror image, you're working out what that shape would look like if I flipped it down below. So I got three blank squares between the axis and that line. So I got three squares coming down. So because that point is three above the line, this one now becomes three below the line. And then you can see there's a line straight across because that would be the mirror image there. It's got the same gap. And then instead of going up two at this point, you go down two, and that would make that shape. And then your final point would be join up the two corner points. So the two corner points I'm joining up, and that makes the mirror image. All right, one mark for that question. The difficulty is remembering the x-axis. That's the x-axis. And the y-axis is that way. Right, enlarge. If you're enlarging something, it makes it bigger. So what I'm going to do is make that whole shape three times bigger. So I'm going to pick a point to start from. I'm going to pick this bottom corner. But everything has got to become multiplied by three. So if I, because I, that bottom corner is going to be the bottom right, I'm going to start quite low down here. So I'm going to move that bottom corner down in the corner because I know my shape is going to come up this way. So I'm looking at it. My first line across was 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. So I know that I need that little line now to go across 6. So that little line there has gone, gone across 6. I could go diagonal, but for me it's easier to go straight up first because it's easier to work out than work out how many across, how many up. So the next one is straight up 3 from this bottom corner. So 3 times 3 is 9. So we've got to count up 9 squares now to make, because it's enlarged by a scale factor 3. So I'm counting up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the last one, because it's a diagonal straight from corner to corner, I can just join that one up with a ruler. So that shape is now 3 times bigger than the last one. If it was scale factor 2, it becomes twice as big. If it's scale factor 4, it becomes four times as big, okay? So you multiply by however much it's enlarged by.